changes in the constellations. You will experience a series of events at short intervals which will greatly disturb you since you will be unable to explain them, and hence you will fear powers against which you cannot defend yourselves. Nor will you be able to find a correct explanation because it is my will that each one of you shall take all eventualities into account and adopt an appropriate attitude. Because I want each one of you to still derive a benefit for yourselves, that is, for your soul. Where faith is entirely absent people will be particularly apprehensive, whereas the believers will more or less abide by me and know that they are protected in my care. Nevertheless, the cosmically generated phenomena will lead to much public debate so that every person will spend some thought on them himself and also discuss it with other people. At times worldly interests will be less important, yet once these appearances have passed worldly people will enjoy the pleasures of the world even more eagerly and only a few will retain impressions which will result in reflection and even to a change of attitude until the same cosmic events repeat themselves and trigger new anxiety. For the scientific community fears a serious threat to planet Earth. Since the mysterious changes in the galaxy have never been observed before and may pose a considerable risk to Earth, and people's opinion regarding the assessment of effects will vary considerably. People will carelessly brush it aside and, without a second thought, enjoy their lives, others will take entirely futile precautions, while others still will withdraw within themselves and mentally come to terms with their God and Creator. And I allow everyone his free will, I only ever try to encourage people to think correctly, to pay attention to the human being's true purpose. So that they will find peace in me and then can be led by me for the salvation of their souls. But what will happen? The zodiac will change, stars will be moved into other orbits with new positions in relation to Earth. And thereby stars never observed before will become visible, one of which will emerge as a direct threat to Earth as a crossing with the Earth's orbit will be feared. No one will want to believe that this will happen, and no one will believe that natural laws can change. But you humans are facing the end, you yourselves are preparing something that will have even worse effects, for what you undertake will endanger the whole earth. What happens due to my will is, however, just a sign of the end, it is a serious warning for you and I only grant you such obvious signs of a higher power's existence so that you can turn to it and thereby also avert a real danger if you, that is your soul make correct use of it. But what follows afterwards will affect the whole earth and everything living on it. And this is why I will manifest myself in advance in an unusual way yet without forcing you to acknowledge me as the initiator of what will have a huge outcome, yet will not affect the whole earth. For I know all natural laws and their effects, I also know how to avert any happening or lessen its effect. But what I allow to happen will always serve your deliverance, it is intended to drive you to me, it is intended to let you humans recognize a God in whom you should take refuge because he is your father. It is the last sign before the end, it is the final attempt by my love and mercy to save what can still be saved. Amen.